Oh, get me out of this lounger. What's up, my pilots? Harry Poncho here, back. Ah, look, Dad's already gotten out of his. Thank God. Let's go see how he's doing. Son, you've saved me. I was afraid I'd be trapped in there forever. It's so good to see you, but but what are you doing here? I'm here to save your ass. Came here to find you. Well, I'm glad you did. This certainly wasn't how I expected things to turn out. I wasn't ready for brawn, or I might have fared better. It's a good thing I showed up. <laughs> Wait, you didn't like being a dog? Well, I suppose it had its moments. But in the end, I much prefer having opposable thumbs. And now that I'm back, I can get back to work. I need to tell Madison what I've learned. What? Don't you want to, like, take a break? I mean, aren't you a little bit tired? No, no. It would be time to rest when the work is complete. This is far too important. All right. I need to get back to Rivet City right away. There's so much to be done. You're going back to Rivet City right now? Yes. With what I've learned, Madison is sure to see that we can finally succeed where we failed so many years ago. I'd like you to come with me. I'd like you to be there when we finally open the floodgates. All right. Let's go. That's my boy. Let's hurry. Now that I know what we need, I want to get back to work as soon as possible. So did you actually, um... <sighs> Alright, uh, yeah. Can we just talk for a second? I mean... Of course, son. What's on your mind? Uh, why can't we just go back to the vault? I think it was much easier there. Somehow, I don't think the Overseer would agree with that. Oh, yeah. What's done is done. But if we succeed... If we can make Project Purity a reality, we can create a new life for ourselves out here. You really think you can do this? Make it work? I wouldn't be here if I didn't. With what I've learned from Dr. Braun, I know it can work. That's why it's so important to find a Gek as soon as possible. It's the key to Project Purity. Huh. Alright. I'm glad we talked. I'm glad we had this discussion, Dad. So am I, son. While this isn't what I have in mind, it's good to have you with me. Aww. Alright, let's, uh... Let's go! What's the big deal about water, anyway? The vault you grew up in had its own water purification system. Clean water was never a worry. Out here, things are different. Water out here is never clean, and almost always irradiated. It's barely able to sustain any kind of normal life. Yeah. If we can change that, Humanity has a real chance at rebuilding. Starting over. Ah, I see. Alright, let's get going over the city. Be careful, my son. Oh, wow, he's fast. Hello, sir. Yeah, I'm getting the hell out of here. And jelly. <laughs> wow, if you know what that's from, you're cool. The peanut, peanut butter, and jelly song. Yes. You get bonus pilot points if you can identify the source of that song. I think several of you probably will be able to. Anyone my age or older would probably know it. <laughs> oh, I'm just following Dad back to the vault. Or back to the Red City, rather. There's practically a vault on the sea. Built in almost the same style as the vaults with those uh, portholes for doors. Oh, there's a mole rat falling down the stairs. Gosh, Dad is fast. Dude, I can't keep up with this guy. So I think if we actually... Oh, hello, stim packs. I'll take those, and the blood pack too, since I have that nice hematophage perk. So yeah, I think I'm just going to fast travel to Rivet City, though. I'm pretty sure you can actually run all the way with him, and he will like pull out a pistol and start shooting his stuff, but he's not particularly helpful. So we're just going to fast travel our way over there, and he will, he will meet us at Rivet City after some significant waiting period, I think. But still. It's a lot less than it would take to actually run the whole way there with him. <coughs> Since we can fast travel, it's, I think it's the right option, at least. Ah, the action boy perk. 20 more action points. I've never actually taken that perk. And it's probably because I usually have 9 or 10 as far as my agility is concerned. And so I have no trouble at all with the amount of AP I typically carry. Oh, come on. Whoopa! Oh, the game didn't like me being on it. It was sort of like. So let's see. Yeah, Dad's still out in the wasteland somewhere, isn't he? Yeah, this marker is pointing to him, actually. He's still 
at Smith Casey's garage. That's very strange. He should be following us here, so... I'm just gonna head to where this other marker is pointing us, and then we'll wait. <laughs> okay. We'll wait. And then, yes. should be able to... This way? Midship deck. And Dad should just pop up after a couple days of standing around staring at the other people. Which is what most of the NPCs do anyway. They stand around and stare at each other, have the same inane conversations over and over. Oh god, they still do that in Skyrim too. Oh, it's awful. Just be talking to somebody. And the bad thing about Skyrim is now that they changed some of the cutscenes so that rather than be in a dialogue with someone while they're talking to you, there'll be two of them and they'll both just stand next to each other and talk to you. And random people... Oh, there's Dad. And random people will just pop up. And be like, oh, we sure do have a nice potion shop in town, don't we? Or, I told you it would work, Madison. Now you get stuff like this. And other characters just walk up and start shouting You're stuff back. at you in your ear. It's like, oh, get out of here. And with good news. I was right about Braun and the Gek. If we can find one, we can adapt it to work with the purifiers. Right. I'd like to believe you, James. I really would. This is all just so... So sudden. Madison, I'm telling you, this is real. I talked to Braun himself. He confirmed it. Don't you see? This is what we've been waiting for. I... I don't know, James. So many years have passed. Is it really still worth trying? How could it not be worth improving the lives of everyone in the Wasteland? What could be a more worthy endeavor? I don't know. You haven't lost any of your passion, have you, James? It's as important to me as ever, Madison. I know it's important to you, too. Let's finish it together. James, I... We don't have a Gek. I can get a small team together, but we'll need proof that it works before people believe us. I know. I was thinking about that. The lab at the facility had some old pre-war computers that we scavenged. One of them might be useful. There's no power at the facility. Even if one of those computers had a database, we couldn't access it. We're running as best we can. Anyone else asking me to do this, I'd have them run right out of Rivet City. That's a weird thing to say. You know I wouldn't be here if I didn't think this would really work. It's time, Madison. Damn you, James. When this is all over, you owe me a drink. I'll get the team together. Sure, a beer sounds like a fair trade for this. Good. We need to get back to Project Purity. The computer there is our best chance to locate a Gek. Let's go! Wait, won't that be dangerous? Probably. But we have to try, don't we? It's too important for the people of the Wasteland to let fear stop us now. We need to get moving right away. Are you coming with us? You're pretty crazy. Let's go. That's my boy. It'll be good to work side by side with you, son. Yeah, it's about friggin' time. I've been chasing after you this whole damn game. Oh, and now we're all going to slowly walk to Project Purity. I think we actually... Oh, now he's running. Oh, no, he's not. Did he run for like two steps and then stop? It's weird. They do that in Skyrim, too. Very strange. I'm just gonna follow the markers outside, and then actually, I think we're not gonna swim to Project Purity because with my free rad removal at our house in Megaton, it's not a big deal at all for me to just swim through the irradiated oceans for as long as I really want. Uh, here? Nope, next door. Right. Oh, Holmes? What the hell? Oh god. Where am I being sent? Ugh, I can't. I just. I can't navigate inside Rivet City. I always get lost. What's in here? Hallway? No, stinky room. I don't want to go in there. Must be this way. Well, geez, if I just followed Dad, I'd get there sooner. Hey, I'm just kicking shit because it's all over the floor in here. It's not my fault. Excuse me. Ah, here we go. The stairwell. Ah, yes, the stairwell. I believe we're already on the right floor, aren't we? Hello, son. Yes, every time I change areas, you load behind me. It's really weird. Raiders take whatever they want, whenever they want, and their favorite pastimes are torture and murder and long walks on the beach. <laughs> oh, what a journey. What a journey we've been on. Oh, Jesus. Okay, let's go to Project Purity, shall we? Hey. I have a marker on my compass already, and I can just... Ah, uh, the water's not... Well, actually, it probably is deep enough. Let's swim. I hope it's deep enough. Yes. If I landed like a foot farther to the right, it wouldn't have been deep enough, but whatever. Viva radiation! Oh yeah. I guess I could be hopping out of the water, couldn't I? However, this works. You know, just like whoop, hop along, whoop. That's really weird. You think that they, the, the playtesters, would have found this and been like, "Why can I jump out of the water?" 
But then again, if they if you couldn't, the only way you'd ever get out of water would be to find a place where it's a perfectly sloped beach that you could walk out on. And I don't think they're very common in the wasteland. There's usually rocky edges. Of course, that was a design choice they could have changed. They could have had them. They could have made them have like irradiated sandy beaches. That would have been fine. But alas, they chose to make everything rocky and gray and nasty. And it's 4 a.m. Let's make it brighter. Ah! Now we actually have a little bit of contrast in the shot. Hello, who's saying hello to me? What the hell are you doing? Garza? I don't know what you're doing over here, man. I don't know who you are! I'm just following the compass mark to Project Purity. There's a bunch of pipes and stuff going in and out of this monument. Is this what they built all those years ago before I was born? This place is pretty cool. Oh, dead super mutants. Hmm. I wonder who took care of those. Oh, Dad's here because we waited. Nice. Hey, Pops! We can't accomplish anything until we can get inside. But none of us are particularly capable fighters. I hate to ask you to put yourself in harm's way, but you seem to have learned to handle yourself. I need you to go in and make sure it's safe for Dr. Lee and her crew. Can do. I'll be right back. Be careful. Super mutants? Spooper mutants. Come on. Clear Project Purity of any remaining mutant threat. I should probably do this a sneaky way. Sneaky sneaky. Alright, let's see what guns I can use for this. I don't have any silence weapons, do I? I do have the Black Rock, and that's probably our best bet for a sneak attack one hit kills. Which is exactly what I want to happen. Gosh, if only I had my bow of frost, this would be so easy. Or even the nightingale bow. Um Hello? Muties! Where are you? There has to be at least some in here, they wouldn't even have told us to clear it, right? Muty Poo, where are you? First two rooms are clear. That's weird. Mutant's dead. Have we been here before? Did I kill these mutants already? I don't think so. The rotunda. I believe this is one of the rooms that we have to clear, so let's go inside. Still sneaking. Still seeing only dead super mutants. Um, what? I no longer have a compass marker. Let's see what the quest objective says. Maybe I just need to go into all the rooms so I can... Huh. Hmm. Hmm, <laughs> Anyone up here? No? Okay. I'm not sure what I'm missing here. Maybe there's one mutant hanging around somewhere that I don't see, but if that was the case, I'd think he'd have a marker on his head telling me to go get him. Let's continue exploring. Perhaps we'll just stumble on one. Yeah, all these dead mutants, I feel like I must have killed them. Like, somebody must have come through here and gotten rid of these guys. And, oh, hello! You scared the shit out of me. Oh, that's nice. If that had been a sneak attack, it would have been a one-hit kill. Alright! Is that going to tell me I cleared the threat now? Or is there, are there more? You mean there's more? <laughs> oh yes. Much, much more. I wonder if there are any bobbleheads here in Project Purity. It seems a good place to put one! Da -da -da. Mm -hmm. Is that it? Any more mutants? Must be at least a couple more. Haven't gotten the quest update yet. Oh god, the sun has just gotten low enough to come in the window and hit me in the eyes. That's perfect. Makes it nearly impossible to tell what the heck's going on on a dark screen like this. Hum hum hum. Ho hum fiddly. Where are these mutants? There's gotta be more. There can't be just like two or three. Must be more in rooms that I'm not checking yet. I'll take the first aid stuff. Thank you very much. Mm-mm-mm. I would have said that that guy would be alive, but whatever. What's going on in this terminal? Ah, a turret control system. Let's see. Delivered. Three out of nine. Slithered. Five of nine. 
five letters in common with slithered. Cluttered has five. So that's only six letters, right? Uh huh. Okay. Do I guess again, or do I try to find some duds? Let's try and find some duds, shall we? I just went past one, didn't I? Boom. That's one. There's another one over here. Two. So remember that cluttered has six letters in common with the answer. Boom. So no allowance for replenished? Ooh, wow. Tough lock. Usually when you get three duds, you get your allowance back. It's still removing wrong words, though, which is nice. Probably gonna make that last guess I take pretty easy. Uh-huh, where... Where is it? There must be some more duds. Let's see. There's another one. I wonder how randomly generated these sequences that you can remove are. Because the game seems to detect them with relative ease. Alright, what words are left? Flattened? What does that have in common with cluttered? cluttered. One, two, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's six. Yeah. Alrighty, cool. Flattened and slithered have five letters in common? Hmm. Interesting. Um, system information? Things are broken. Yes, cool. No targeting data. Deactivate turrets. Okay. Sure. Why not? Let's go see what's over here. Down this other long hallway. Sneak, sneak, sneak. There's a grate here. Pump control. Don't think I need to go that way. Oh, there's a intercom. No response! Of course there's no response. Who could possibly be on the other end? A super mutant? Hum, hum, hum. Okay, I'm done with sneaking. I want the mutants to pop out so I can shoot them. <laughs> uh, where are they? Was there one on the other side of the rotunda? I just didn't see him. Because as far as I can tell, these are like the only two rooms that you ever really use in this area, so... There must be another guy in here somewhere. These guys are all dead. Oh, great. Man, this is, uh, perplexing. It's usually not hard to find the enemies you're supposed to kill in order to clear an area, but... I'm getting a little, eh, cleared of any remaining mutant threat. Alright, let's go out the other side of the rotunda. Maybe we'll find some more on this place. Sneaky sneak. Oh, this is just the other side of that room, isn't it? Yeah, nothing new here. Let's see. What's this way? Sub-basement. I guess I might have to clear this too. Let's find out! If I walk in and there's a mutant staring me in the face, it's probably the right way to go. Ah, yes, I have a red marker. Thank goodness. About time. Uh -huh. oh, what? Where'd he go? Must be on a different floor. He's moving around without me being able to see where the heck he's at. Okay. This is probably where the rest of the mutants are. Oh, there's one. Is that a mutant? That's a pile of crap, isn't it? It's a pile of gore. It's a gore bag, isn't it? There a mutant over there. Hello? Hmm. Oh, hello. Yeah, I don't actually mind if you guys saw me. <laughs> Just come fight me already, please. You come up the stairs over here, or... Oh, hello, there's one of you. Hey, turn around. I'm gonna be able to shoot your head. <laughs> oh, I missed! Twice! Get out of here. Oh, cleavers. Yeah, I want to back up for these guys. You don't see me. Wow, he really moves fast once he starts swinging that thing. Good thing he seems to have like just knocked me around with his forearm. Yeah, I hear you. Yeah, I'm sure I'll never stop you. You're just too powerful. Too amazing. Uh, tongue? Head. Tongue and then head. Why not? Like, ow! Get out of here. Right, looks like we got one more down there. Let's go. Oh, hello! Oh, you got a grenade for me! Thanks, you idiot. Drop right at your own feet, why don't you? Where did it go? Did it never go off? Did he not throw it? I'm a little confused here. Oh! Is that an eyeball going past me there? Tell me that's all the mutants. Come on. There's more. My quest marker hasn't updated yet, so there must be some more down here. I 
could sneak sneak and get him, but whatever. Actually, you can sneak around pretty quickly, can't you? Da, 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 da. Let's go this way. Get farther down. That's probably where they are. If they manage to let all that ruckus just go down without hearing us, they must be a lot farther down in the base here. Around some corners and stuff. Here's here's somebody. Yep. Take that. How's that for an extension? Of, uh, I can't even finish that meme. Oh, it's good. It's good. It's done. It's great. Awesome. Tell that it's safe to enter Project Purity. Sure. As soon as I find my way out of here. Oh God. Now I got to figure out how the hell to get out of this place. Where did I come down? There's got to be some. Okay, I came down here. These stairs. What's this stuff? Hot plates and clipboards and... Yep, it looks like they, uh... Used to have this place set up as a science lab. And now it's just become a mess. Wouldn't it be nice if I could just use the intercom and have it turn on the intercom on the outside of the building and be like, Hey, it's safe, you can come in now. Rather than having to run out there and tell them in person. Whatever. You know, we do put those intercoms to use eventually. We do some more quests here, so... <laughs> you know. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ooh, getting impatient. I want to go out there and get more stuff done. These parts of the quests where you have to just report back to somebody are always the most boring. It's like, oh, good job. You found the ancient sword of Akamaka Waka Waka. Now return to your fighter's guild guy and give it to him. It's like, oh, great. Fast travel back to Shaden Hall, you know, just whatevs. <sighs> yes, 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 yes. So I've recently taken to wearing my high school ring again, and it's weird. I got it resized so it actually fit my hand. I didn't realize my hands had changed size since high school, but they have. It's very nice. I like it. I don't know why I'm talking about it, though. Hey, Dad. Is there, are you all right? Is it safe in there? Yeah, no, I'm dead, and don't go in there. I'm proud of you. Now let's get in there. Aren't you listening to me at all? All right. Let's go. Be careful, my son. Uh, no, just go inside, please. Can you run? I'm gonna wait an hour because you guys aren't gonna run, are you? Wow, they're fast. Isn't that just amazing? See, I could have used the intercom and then waited an hour, and they would have all been inside, right where I was. And now I get to chase them around. La di da. Oh, you only went inside the door. I'm amazed at how far you made it in that hour. That is spectacular, guys. Good work. Oh, Dr. Lee's still standing up there like an idiot. Perfect. All right, where's Dad? He's gonna be in here somewhere. Oh, you're not in the gift shop, are you? Howdy doody. Oh, excuse me. Who are you? Daniel Agincourt. Don't know who you are. Ha ah. ha ha. Alright, are we done? Can I finish this quest? Get some experience? Is there... Here we are. Where it all began. You remember your mother's favorite passage? Yeah. Revelation 21.6. I am Alpha and Omega. The beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. I remember it. Don't you see? This is what it all means. The water, the purifier. This is the water of life. Your mother's dream. Wow. No point in wasting time. Let's get to work. There's much to be done. Hell yeah!